Next thing I need is a silicone spatula. Get yourself a nice soft silicone spatula, the squishier the better, but you want to have a flat blade. The reason for this being is when you're doing this, you're not just mixing the resin on the surface. What we're doing here is we're mixing all that pigmentation that's stuck to the release film. Now with this resin, navy gray from Triatech, it's really, really easy to see the separation, but for some resins, you can't tell at all. But it's still happening. It's always happening. And we really care about that first layer getting good bondage to the build plate. And so that's really why you want to take that pigmentation off the release film and put it back into the resin. The second reason we do this is because we're checking if there's any hard bits left. If there's any hard bits still left, we're gonna feel them. And also, if there's any damage to release film, like a, a little pinhole or even a bump, you'll feel it. And if you move it a little bit quicker, not so quick that you splash over the sides, you actually can get a small peek at the release film, if you see here. We can actually get a visual check of it, and we can confirm that our release film is in good condition before we start our next print. So there's a lot of benefit to doing this. But yeah, now we just have to go through here and mix it up. When we're mixing it, we want to be very careful not to, you know, like smack the release film, because even with this very soft silicone spatula, over time you can still kind of damage it. But that's also why the softer, the better. 